Well, hi guys. Well, big thank you for joining us. Well, yeah, as you can see, we're still navigating some pretty dreadful roads. And in this week's video, we drive miles of gravel track to a pretty remote part of Armenia. And if your thing is big, wide open spaces, then stick with us. Gap to Caters, Phil and Izzy. In 2018, we sold our house and all our possessions for life on the road. Since then, we've been exploring Europe and Asia by motorhome and now in our truck Tonka. Join us on our travels as we endeavor to explore the world. And for those weekly updates, please consider liking, subscribing, and hitting that bell notification. But enough of me talking, let's get on the road. Well, we've decided to move on this morning. We're actually taking a little drive up to Lake RP which is a national park area in the northwest of the country. Uh, we're in the last couple of days now in Armenia. I mean, it's just been superb, but yet again, this part of the country is very different. Although it's really hilly, reasonably mountainous, it's more rolling, it's really green, and at the minute, it's just full of wildflowers. We still have at about 2,000 meters, so it's still really cool. Uh, but yeah, it's just a real pleasure today having a little drive along and taking in the sights. these roads are impossible but you've got no choice you've just got to accept them well this is the start of the gravel road and this takes us all the way up to Lake Arpey a new place a new home for a while let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in new, so where I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so I love these days on the road. It's dry, we've got great visibility, and we've only seen one other car on the road. And in fairness, the truck's just, well, it's just soaking it up. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day, cause I found my way, I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay, cause I found my way. I nearly lost a drone. Oh, Phil. I know. No, it was my fault. It that, honestly would not. Never, it's never no, 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 seriously. No, this time it was my fault. No. I, so, look, there's a bit of background. First drone, uh, pff, I drowned the first drone. All right. I put my hand up. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I lost that in a river in Austria. 
The second drone, I hit a tree in Portugal. Uh, hang on. You told me the tree jumped out Wait, at you. Well, it did jump out. Uh, I didn't believe it at the it, time. It either. did jump out. Mm. <laughs> it did jump out. No, honestly, this, this time round, I was flying the drone and this flock of seagulls, massive flock of seagulls, were heading in the same trajectory as the drone. I, I was saying it. And I was over the water, I was thinking, oh, this is not going to end well. And so I am actually like so relieved, I am buzzing, that I have got this drone. But I haven't even seen the footage yet. It's going to be Next pretty time good. you go out with the drone, I'm going to say to you, if you're coming back without it, don't come back at all. <laughs> you you're not having a, a number four. There's no number four drone. It's not going to No, they, I need an upgrade. It's time oh, for an okay. upgrade. So... Come on, let's I watch am this footage then. So relieved, honestly. Well, it's our last night in Armenia. We can't quite believe it. It's, We've been it's here for a month. Been here a month and it really has been incredible. It was never on the plan. Uh, we were hoping to get into Azerbaijan and we're still hoping to get into Azerbaijan. Um, but Armenia has just blown us away and that is the, the honest truth. And That's I think it. we... We came we came into the country. We said that literally the night before we crossed the border, we, we would come with no preconceived ideas. We didn't do any research which is not like us at all. Um, but I think it was a last minute decision. And so we just wanted to see, you know, what would it be like if we just didn't do the research? And actually it's blown us away. Just the natural beauty of the place without having anywhere special to go. It's been amazing. It really has, apart from the roads. I mean, putting the roads to one side, and they are shocking, don't get me wrong. Um, put the roads to one side, then the landscape, you know, every single day the drive has just been spectacular, mm. but the people have been incredible. I mean, there's a, a real curiosity, but people would just knock on the door and say, come and join us. And they will, you know, I, I've I've had drinks with the police. I've I've joined a, a 40th, a class reunion of 40 years. Um, I mean, people are just literally knocking on the door. Come, come. I, nobody speaks in English. Well, certainly in the rural areas, no one speaks English. Um, so the app has been really handy, but uh, it's not cheap. No, it's uh, some of the, we were a bit surprised. Some of the groceries we've bought have been the most expensive on on this trip, and I'm talking about including Greece and Turkey. Uh, the fuel is no cheaper than Georgia. Um, we we did look at the fuel price index online, and we were expecting it to be less, but it's not. It's about the same price, so we're paying around one twenty a liter at the moment. I know that's not as bad as it is in the UK, but still for here. 
it's a it's a massive hike on where it was last year um and we have wondered how local people cope because there clearly is poverty here um you you can't really escape that but that said you know and this is the, this is the the gorgeous thing about it you come here and it really is the people with, with nothing mm. they will give you you know vegetables from their garden they'll give you yogurt you know the, from the, from their you know their own um animals and it's ah oh, it's again we keep saying this but it is really humbling when you come to these countries mm. you know people turn up on a a 50 year old battered ladder with no lights and you know sometimes and, no number plates no you know and honestly we, we we see these every day and it's just been a spectacle and if you're like me and you love all things petrol you'll just love all the old soviet trucks you know you see vehicles here you know they're 50 60 years old still going strong um yeah they're a bit worse for wear and they're kicking out plumes of black smoke but they just keep on going. I mean, the, and the mountain roads here are absolutely, mm. you know, they're, they're, it's harsh. It's a harsh environment. But the mountain roads are a blessing and a curse because they're, they're quite difficult sometimes. But at the same time, they take you to the most spectacular places where the views are just incredible. Yeah. Um, and if you like monasteries? Oh, yeah. You'll be happy here. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. If you like, but on a serious note, I mean, if you if you like to get away from it all, if you like to get away, I mean, there's a really small population. I think, don't quote me, I think it's three million. I don't know. In Armenia, which you know, is is tiny. So it does feel like there are still big areas of wilderness here. You know, oh there's yeah. Been, there's been a couple of times when we've been out in the middle of nowhere, and I have really thought. Wow, you know, there could be bears out there. There could be well, this well, jackals. Is we heard jackals one night. We're sat in, the, in in a gorgeous little place, you know, Lake Arpy National Park. And, and you've got to get a, you've got to register basically to st stay here. So we went to the um, the office and I said to the guy, it was a pitch of a snake on the wall and it's a pit viper. Very, very specific to this area. And I said to the guy, is there snakes here? And he said, no, he said, but we have bears and wolves. That's all right then. <laughs> it was like, and he just said it with like, I mean, he, he wasn't, he wasn't funny. He was just like, no, oh, we, we have bears normal, and wolves. Yeah. And it really is normal. And it's, it, it's an incredible place. It really is. So we're, yeah, it's, we're just sort of sat here reflecting. And we've had an incredible weather for a couple of days. It's really sort of overcast and moody right now. At, at one point it was actually too hot. When, when we were in Yerevan, I mean, it was about 30 degrees and, and there was no air at night at all. Um, it was too warm for me. Yeah. So here we are, end of June. It's lovely. It's, uh, you know, we're still sat up here at 2,000 metres. And uh, it's it's gorgeous. So we're just having a little glass of wine and saying thank you, Armenia. Yeah. So, cheers to Armenia. Cheers. And cheers to, here's to Georgia again. Here's to, yeah, back in Georgia. <laughs> Well, this really is our last morning in Armenia. It's been fantastic, but it's time to go. But wow, it's cold this morning. It's about eight degrees this morning, really feeling it. So time to get on the road. life here is pretty simple actually it's pretty basic I mean it's quite remote out here and everywhere is on these tracks I love the trailer there it's brilliant. Mm. Well, it's been such an interesting drive this morning. I mean, we've, we're actually 
taking a different road and it's we're, we're driving through all these little villages and I have to say I mean every single house or plot has a really big veggie patch so there's loads of potatoes uh, onions bleaks and I mean lots of root veg I mean it's obviously quite harsh harsh here in terms of growing vegetables but it's stunning but it's it's really interesting it's a real insight into village life I suppose I mean, there's a lot of derelict buildings and I mean it's pretty much off farm buildings and you can see the tractors and yeah it's uh, certainly rural life that's for sure so we're just coming off the track that we've been on for the last I don't know hour and a bit onto the main road so yeah look at this this is uh, this is it not too bad I think I might use a bit of the hard shoulder though is that what it is a hard shoulder it's a hard shoulder Close. what else is it it's the it's like an auxiliary lane it's the leftover bit from when they did the road yeah Right, well, the border is just up ahead. So let's see how this goes. side we're just making our way slowly to the Georgian side we've obviously got our little fine to pay but this is an exceptionally quiet border crossing so this is a different border crossing to the one that we came in on and it's it's a very different experience Well, we're through. Welcome to Georgia. We're back in Georgia. Oh, oh my dear. God, we've got. That's really bad. Big holes again. But yeah, we're back in Georgia, which is excellent. Uh, easy coming through Armenia this time, but actually very thorough coming into Georgia, checking absolutely everything. So that took about, oh, how long did it take? Is it every 45 minutes? So yeah. not too bad, not actually. Not too bad at all. So yeah, it's a very quiet border crossing. Right. Okay, we're on the road. 